Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel, Parul English Lab. In today's lesson, we will look into present perfect continuous tense, which is also known as present perfect progressive tense. This is a very easy tense and it connects present and past. Let's go through its structure. So here, first we start with subject, then has or have been. We use has with he, she and it. We have done it already. And then been plus first form of the verb plus ing. Okay, as I told you earlier that in continuous tense, we use first form of the verb and ing. Okay, so here also we are using first form of the verb plus ing. Let's go through some examples. I have been practicing the guitar for so long. So I is the subject here. Have been is the verb. Then practice is the main verb plus ing. First form of the verb plus ing. Okay. Now next is we have been playing since morning. So subject plus have been playing. Okay. Now she has been cooking since 10 o'clock subject plus the verb tense and first form of the verb plus ing okay next is max and lisa this is the subject now max and lisa have been traveling for a month now okay so according to the structure this is the way how we construct these kind of sentences in present perfect continuous tense where do we use present perfect continuous tense we use present perfect continuous tense to talk about actions that started in past and are still going on in present and they might continue in future okay so let's understand it with an example i have been watching a movie for two hours all right now look at this timeline this is now okay and now means present we know that after now is future okay any time after now and before now is past all right so just imagine that right now the time is 9 pm okay present 9 pm and the action of watching movie started at 7 pm okay in a gap of two hours so at 7 pm i started to watch a movie in past and then it the action continued till present okay till 9 pm it has not finished it is still going on okay so the action started in past and it is still going on in present and it might continue further in future for another 30 minutes 40 minutes 45 minutes okay so here we have a duration two hours duration okay so this is a duration for two hours this action has been going on okay so whenever we have this kind of a situation we frame sentences in present perfect continuous like we framed it here i have been watching a movie for two hours i have been watching a movie this is a duration of two hours for two hours let's have some more examples number one i have been working at this company for three years okay so here I is the subject and then have been working is a verb tense okay and then at this company for three years now if you uh, look at all the sentences I have for for here since for since since okay so because in this tense we talk about duration okay an action which started in past and it is still going on in present so we have a duration here so whenever we have a duration we will use either for or since we know that we use for for uh, a period of time and since we use for a specific point of time in past all right so that is the difference when we know the exact time exact year exact month we use since otherwise when we have a period of time like four years four months four days okay then we use for a long time we use for all right so here the action of working started in past okay three years back and it is still going on right now it is continuing till today okay so that is why 
present perfect continuous now next is i have been teaching english for 7 years again this is the tense verb have been teaching have been plus teach is the verb plus ing so this is the tense verb then english for 7 years okay so this is my example i have been teaching english for 7 years and i'm still teaching today i have not left it the action is still going on in present which started 7 years back and it might continue in future okay he has been learning english for a year now okay this is subject has been the verb tense and english for a year now okay so that means it's been a year that i have been studying english okay he has been playing cricket since childhood so childhood again the exact time since childhood so that's why we have used since okay so now he started to play cricket uh, when he was a child and still this action is going on okay so he has been playing cricket since childhood now look at these two sentences these are a bit different from others here in these sentences we have a timeline okay a period of time or a specific time all right but here we do not have the time rather we have an action which happened in past okay so this is an action which happened in past and at that time another action started in past which is still going on in present okay so i just explain it to you with a timeline this is a timeline all right now this is now which is present all right so this is present okay now uh some time in past let's suppose here an action happened okay which action she left college so she left college okay so this action uh, took place in past some time in past all right and then another action started here so which is that action she has been living in delhi so an action started which continued till today so which is that action living in delhi okay so this action so here what happened an action happened in past she left the college okay and from there another action started which had a duration okay and that action continues till present okay living in delhi so this will be in present perfect continuous and this happened in past it started and ended in past so this is simple past tense okay so this is what we have done over here if you look at it she has been living in delhi because this action the action of living okay this started in past at some point of time and is still going on in present okay so that's why this is in present perfect continuous she has been living in delhi since when okay since this action happened in past since she left college okay so we can uh, frame the sentence is like this also when an action happened in past and that time another action started which is still going on in present and will continue in future as well okay let's take another example i have been traveling since i joined this company so i joined this company in past okay and since then i have been traveling okay when i joined this company this action happened in past and since then i have been traveling and i'm still traveling it's not that you know this action is completed or it's done no i'm still traveling i'm still in the same job and i'm still traveling okay so that is how you can frame these kind of sentences so generally we have a combination of present perfect continuous and simple past this is simple past okay this is also simple past next we use present perfect continuous 
to talk about actions that started in past and stopped recently in past okay uh, for example an action started in past and continued for some time and ends in past only but in a recent past okay um, and generally in these kind of sentences we can see the results in present because that action didn't happen long back it ended in recent past and because of that we can see the results in present okay how so here we have a sentence I have been running okay so imagine the situation that uh, with a timeline okay so here this is a timeline this is now present okay now before present is past so right now the time is 9 a.m. you started to run at 8 a.m. okay the action of running started at 8 a.m. it continued for 50 minutes and uh, you stop at 8.50 alright and you sit on a bench in the park and just chilling you're sweaty you're tired okay and then your friend comes and asks you what happened you look so tired are you okay okay so what would you say I have been running no I'm completely fine it's just that I have been running okay so an action started in past and ended in past only but in a recent past that the results are visible in present okay so whenever we have this kind of situation wherein we still have the results in present we can use present perfect continuous let's have some more examples I have been waiting for you okay so just imagine the situation that you and your friend you both have decided that tomorrow uh, we would meet at 10 o'clock okay so now you reach there at 9 30 okay and your friend uh, doesn't turn up okay so it is 10 o'clock night 10 30 then 11 so your friend comes at 11 and you would say where were you I have been waiting for you okay so you started uh, to wait at 9 30 the action of waiting started at 9 30 and it continued till 11 o'clock okay and it stopped um, when your friend came all right now uh, when he comes at that point of time that action is not going on it, it stopped in recent past all right so but still you will frame the sentence like i have been waiting for you however you are not waiting right now the action has stopped but still because that stopped in recent past that's why you will say i have been waiting for you okay now let's look at the second example it has been raining for three days so uh, the situation is that you want to go out in park but you cannot because it's raining and after three days the action which started three days back that stops after three days okay and now you step out of the house you go to the park and you see that uh, the grass is wet it's still wet okay why because that action the action of raining that started in past stopped in recent past okay and that's why it has its results in present okay so just remember that we use in two situations we use present perfect continuous once when the action started in past and is still going on in present that is present perfect continuous and when an action started in past and went on for some time and stopped recently in past okay it is not going on in present but because it ended in recent past that's why we can see the result in present okay that is called present perfect continuous now next example uh, look at these three sentences here I have used lately and recently so we use these words lately and recently also uh, while constructing sentences in present perfect continuous I have been reading the God of small thing lately that means I started to read this book maybe a few days back or a few weeks back and on and off I've been reading it and I'm still reading it I have not completed it yet okay so the action is re uh, going on right now all right and I have used lately because I recently started to read this book okay it's not long back 
recently okay she has been getting bad headaches recently so that means uh, it's been a week or so that she has been getting these headaches on and off okay they have been exercising a lot lately okay so again recently they have started to exercise and still every day they have been exercising morning evening so they have been exercising a lot lately and the action is still going on all right they have not stopped doing it so it's still going on in present so whenever we have these kind of situations we can use present perfect continuous not all verbs are compatible with continuous actions okay like stative verbs we have done dynamic and stative verbs i have made a separate video on that you can refer to that okay but here i have two examples for you okay just to revise so let's look at it i have been owning this shop for 5 years that means you uh, bought this shop 5 years back and you still own this shop the action is still going on but just because this is not an action verb okay it's not a dynamic verb it is a stative verb means it is describing a state okay so we cannot use it in continuous form all right that's why we will uh, frame a sentence with present perfect tense like i have owned this shop for 5 years all right so the meaning is same but it's just that we cannot use these verbs in continuous forms that's why we are using it like this i have been knowing him since my childhood so again no is showing a state here not an action okay so we cannot put this ing okay so this is a wrong sentence and here again this is a wrong sentence so how we are going to frame this kind of sentence i have known him since my childhood all right so do not make this mistake do not use ing or continuous form of verbs with stative verbs let's go through the contractions we have done them earlier though but let's do them again i have you have we have they have in all uh these verbs what we going to do is just remove ha okay remove ha and i apostrophe and v e okay so i apostrophe v e u apostrophe v e we apostrophe v e they apostrophe v e now he has she has and it has it becomes he's she's and its now the pronunciation of this is i've you we've they've okay now next is i negative contractions i have not so have an apostrophe t so we just have to remove o okay i haven't you haven't we haven't they haven't he hasn't she hasn't it hasn't okay so here he's she's its this is the contraction of he is she is it is also but again depending on the verb coming after this you'll understand whether we are talking about present continuous or present perfect continuous all right let's go through some positive negative and interrogative sentences in present perfect continuous tense he has been sleeping for 2 hours it's a positive sentence okay he hasn't been sleeping for 2 hours or he has not been sleeping for 2 hours next is has he been sleeping for 2 hours it's an interrogative sentence okay negative interrogative hasn't he been sleeping for 2 hours or with expanded form has he not been sleeping for 2 hours okay now if you want to use a question word how you will do that how long has he been sleeping okay so the question word and then the interrogative sentence okay now next is my father has been reading a newspaper my father hasn't been reading a newspaper has my father been reading newspaper what has my father been doing okay with a question word tia has been dancing since afternoon tia has not been dancing since afternoon has tia been dancing since afternoon hasn't tia been dancing since afternoon what has tia been doing since afternoon 
okay so that is how you can make positive negative and interrogative sentences in present perfect continuous thank you for watching my videos please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you take care have a great day